a KQED television production. Check, Please! Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by... Safe Catch Elite Wild Tuna. Great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. Safe Catch tests each and every fish for mercury. Available at nearby stores. Walmart Global E-Commerce, with small, agile work teams, is focused on big data, engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers available at walmartlabs.com. Sutter Health CPMC, investing in community care for more than 150 years, including two new smart hospitals. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. Natural Mattress Systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Oakland International Airport, now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. IRG has over 250 types of natural stone choices in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin or at marblecompany.com. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check, Please! Bay Area, the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. Now we have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. In this episode, we take another look at three restaurants from past seasons. This time we'll journey through Asia, from the spice and fire of Hunan dishes to thrilling contrasting tastes of Cambodia and finally bold and vibrant Thai Laotian flavors. For our first stop from season seven, it's all about love, dreams and commitment for actor Becky Hirschfeld. She travels across the Bay Bridge to relive memories from childhood and rejoice in the flavors of Cambodia. On 8th Street in Oakland, it's called Phnom Penh House. My name is Linda, um, and I work with my brother Ty. Uh, we managing Rumping House at Oakland Chinatown. I'm the seventh child, the youngest. My mom is um, she likes to cook, and she taught us how to cook. My sister and my brother is all we know how is to just cook. And then we figure that since we know we have that special skill, we should make a living out of it. So. It's just amazing. It's just a family business and we all do stuff that needs to be done. Mostly I did all the local shopping. We do have a local farmer's market here, so that's where I go get my herbs. We use a lot of lemongrass. We use a lot of coconut and tamarind and chili paste. A lot of customer favor is uh, string beans with tofu. Especially right now, string beans is in season. It's nice and crunchy. Definitely, when it's fresh ingredients, it's bring out the natural flavor of it. It's wonderful seeing the customer with all these years, and they said the quality is still the same and has not changed a bit, and which is wonderful to hear that. Now, Becky, you have been going to this place since you were a wee little thing, right? Yes. About seven years old. Oh, well, yes. well, you're only 17 or something. Of course, so it hasn't been so long, but yeah, it's been a long time, and I always go there with my family, mm -hmm. and they, they know us, we walk in, and they're always like, oh, you're back, you're here, come sit down. So <laughs> what, what do you get when you go there? I can see, you know. We do have our favorites. We always get the pan-fried noodles. They're just so tasty that I will mix them up with the rice so they last longer, and they come with really crunchy scallions and prawns and scrambled eggs, and it's just something that's so simple and, and really basic, but it has such a really pleasant, comforting flavor. And there's a uh, Cambodian crepe that is just incredible. It comes with ground pork and just this wonderful sauce that you put over it. We just go back and forth between a few things. There's an eggplant dish mm -hmm. that they have. Oh, that, yeah, I think we got yeah, that one too. Yeah, yeah it's that so really good. good. But, so you mm -hmm. like this spot, Garrett? Uh, you know, I, I had kind of mixed feelings about it. Um, you know, I, <laughs> look at Becky's face. <laughs> oh, <my, impossible. laughs> Sorry, Becky. Uh, you know, when we yeah. came in, um, we got seated right away, and and the owners were very friendly, and very the nice. service was great. They were yeah. great people. Um, it was great, and you know, we had told them it was our first time eating Cambodian food, and he was really happy to recommend a, you know a whole bunch of things from the menu. So mm -hmm. I was thinking, oh, it's going to be really good. Some <clears throat> things really hit the mark, and mm -hmm. uh, a couple things just didn't. You like know, um, well, we had a, a steamed or poached salmon dish that came in a really 
nice, rich, um, dark, earthy red wine kind of sauce. Mm -hmm. And the flavors were really good, but you know, it, it came to our table kind of lukewarm, and, and that's just kind of one of my biggest pet peeves oh. with food if it's not piping hot. Okay. <laughs> and Salvatore, what about you? I loved it. I thought it was just amazing. I was so happy to find it. Um, I took a local from Alameda who had never been there, and we walked in, and it was like walking into someone's home. I mean, the whole family right. was sitting in the back eating, and the mm -hmm. kids were running around and serving they've owned themselves. It for quite a few years. They have, so yeah, all the locations. Decades. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We had the, the chicken soup, which mm -hmm. had, it had fresh lime in it, and it was literally every spoonful of that soup was like, pow, wow, freshness and yeah. deliciousness. And then we also had the charboiled chicken. Oh, I love that. I and love that. So the vegetables that come with it? Yeah. That's my favorite thing. I don't know how they did it, but it wasn't dry. And mm -hmm. the thing that's different than any other place, a Cambodian restaurant, is it, it was all dark meat. They didn't cheap out and just give you white meat pretending. They actually gave you the, oh, the quality. Oh, because usually you That's think, the usually think it's the other way yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. I did love the um, the skewered um, beef yeah. things. Those mm -hmm. were great. They just um, really smoky and they have this really deep caramel flavor. Yeah, everything has really deep flavors, just really lots of layers and yeah, just wonderful. We had a dish with, uh, it was a curry dish with the potato and eggplant. What amazed me was that they were both just perfectly tender like mm -hmm. the eggplant wasn't too chewy and the potato wasn't all soggy so it was like and it was delicious because was eggplant just, can be a tough one eggplant yes. can be a tough, i mean i'm an italian mm -hmm. i come from a italian you, 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 if you don't get that little. eggplant right then you're out but <laughs> yeah. so um, i definitely agree about the textures you know yes. the, uh, i had the stuffed fried boneless chicken wings i don't uh -huh. know if you guys got a chance to try that oh my gosh the skin was just this ephemeral i could see through it you know and it yeah. just shattered and uh it had this nice lemongrass uh stuffing inside with like noodles and meat and oh, uh, that oh like really good. good and then the eggplant and ground pork was just really yeah, soft slippery just nice nice textures yeah, yeah. And did you either of you get the um the fried calamari no. It's no, the I same didn't. batter, I believe, as the bananas, the fried bananas. Oh. And it's just, <laughs> it's, it's by crime you mean because it's too good. Decadent crime? That's a decadent crime. It's, crime. Right. <laughs> it's so, and it comes with a sweet chili sauce, and it's just, it's, my family, like, we don't usually have fried things, but every time we go there, like, that's our one. We'll but fried. It's, yeah, it's it's just so good. Oh, <laughs> and those fried bananas, I mean, dessert is certainly. It, the, you, that yeah. dessert is hands yeah. I love the fact that it's the only dessert. Mm. It's like, we're not going to mess around with offering you a variety you're getting one yeah. dessert and it was this light flaky batter like deep fried banana with sesame in yeah. it served nice. with ice cream and it's yeah. delicious do you feel like you got value oh my god yes yeah. value I mean the price was so we couldn't believe when the bill yeah. came that we actually only spent that much money and got yeah. that much food so this is your spot Becky yes. wrap it up for us it's a great family place to bring bring friends or or colleagues and for a cheap and delicious meal all right, in Salvatore. Um, definitely get the fried banana, um, and it's a wonderful find. Thank you so much for introducing me. I can't wait to go back. That's so okay, and Garrett. If you're looking to try out Cambodian food, I'd say go bring a big group, order a bunch of stuff. You're going to get some good dishes. And um, but I think if you're not from Oakland, if it's a long drive, it might not be worth a trip on its own. If you'd like to try Phnom Penh House, it's on 8th Street at Alice in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-893-3825. It's open for lunch and dinner Monday through Saturday. Reservations are accepted. And the average tab per person without drinks is around $20. Emily Butler joined us in season eight. She's a certified wine professional who works in marketing and takes us to her neighborhood spot where the sizzling dishes, scented aromas, and fresh flavors excite the palate. In San Francisco's Chinatown on Jackson, it's called Hunan Homes Restaurant. My name is James Yuan. I'm the owner of the uh, Hunan Homes Restaurant. We've been here since 1983. My brother is the chef. He uh, studied the cuisine in uh, Taiwan over uh, 40 years, and he's still uh, studying the cuisine. The pasta we have is 30 years recipe. The dough we make our own is nice and thin, so when we cook, it's nice and crispy. Well, we have fresh tank for the uh, crab. You can pick your crab. Pick the best one, the big one, the heavy one. Mm -hmm. My personal favorite dish, there's a lot. <laughs> this is like a family uh, restaurant, so people like to come with the kids. We have a lot of kids grew up here since 1983, and they're still coming. I'm enjoying the, uh, the regular customer come to the holiday, see each other, greeting each other. We want you to feel uh, like a home. Emily, 
Right. Um, let's talk a little bit about maybe Hunan cuisine. It's very spicy, right? Yeah, absolutely. So you're going to get a little bit more spice, not quite as spicy as Szechuan cooking, right. but there is definitely some spice, and they love to use, you know, the fiery red peppers. So it's right. definitely big, bold flavors. One of their uh, most popular dishes is their orange peel chicken. It has a really, really vibrant orange flavor that you can smell and you can taste all throughout the dish. And it's, it's fried chicken, but it's just perfectly fried. It's not greasy. They lay it on a little bed of pickled vegetables, so a little bit of daikon radish and some carrots, and it's perfect. And it has some chili peppers in it, too. It does. You got to watch out for those bad boys. Yeah. I was really excited coming from Berkeley. I'm, okay, great. We're coming over the bridge. We're going to Chinatown. We're going to eat, you know, and I was really excited. And then I got in and I looked inside. And it was very homey, you know, and they had the jade pagoda right. tiles on the inside. And so we sat down, and I was really excited to eat. When I spoke to the server, I said, well, you know, I'm thinking about this sizzling fish. Is it, what do you, is this good? I mean, what do you consider the, the specialties? Like, that's fine. Yeah. You know, and so, so you were looking for a little bit more direction. I was, yeah, okay. because I, I really wanted to eat what made this restaurant special. We ended up getting the sizzling sliced fish. I thought it was nice. You know, mm -hmm. he brought it out. It had like big vegetable chunks in it, right. and it was like a white fish, and it was sliced really kind of irregularly, which is cool. I love that. It was very sizzling. Okay. Yeah, and it was, you know, and I'm sitting here drooling while I watch that, you know. <laughs> and we, you know, and it wasn't bad. Uh -huh. You know, I didn't think it was bad. I just, I just wasn't blown away. I took a couple of friends for mm -hmm. lunch. Um, same sort of scenario as LB uh, described. Uh, very much looking forward to you know being sort of wowed and and you know enjoying the experience because there are so many restaurants in Chinatown, mm. right? right? And it's exactly. It's, you yeah. have to find how do you pick exactly. the right one? Right. The first thing we had was the hot and sour soup. Good. It was really really good. Lots of tofu, uh, lots of vegetables, um, a darker consistency, um, really flavorful, mm -hmm. beautiful, really loved it. The first thing after that was the shrimp fried rice. Okay. And uh, it came out and I, it looked lovely enough. Right. Um, and I took a bite and it sort of felt like the chef, when he was making it, was putting salt in the, in the actual rice and he sort of unscrewed the top and the salt just all came out. Now, and come on, I can't believe that. Yeah, that. They don't even cook with salt. They, it, they use no. soy sauce for their seasoning. I, I, I gotta be honest, <laughs> and, and it sort of felt like he just went, Okay, and kept going. Okay, it, it, it was it was so. It was overly salted to you. Wow. In Chinese cooking, yeah. you know, they use soy sauce and and. Uh, some, okay, somehow. Some fish and other things. Yeah. So should he have foods. should he have ordered something else then? I mean, there's so many other dishes to uh, to choose. Um, for instance, they do a fantastic job with all of their different mushus, and they do a beautiful tableside presentation where they actually construct the little pancakes for you, which is lovely. Did, did you experience that? that? I did have that. Okay. That was nice. Did you like that? I did like good. that. Good. Yeah, that was good. The pot stickers mm. were fantastic. You get six in an order, and they're huge, and they're filled with delicious ground pork and scallions and different vegetables, and they're pan seared, so they have. That delicious crust on the outside and then the other thing I love especially when you're there dining is the server will come by and make a little custom dipping sauce for you and I just love those little extra touches that they do table side the other thing I definitely want to include is is their beef dishes they mm. do a fantastic beef with string bean mm. it is the most tender beef I've ever had and the sauce is just super savory it just gives you that delicious umami flavor and mm. then the beans are crispy and they have that delicious crunch that's one of my all-time favorite dishes there too. Oh, Scott's got a face, man. Look at I, his I, face. I feel like I ordered the wrong beef dish. Uh, you should come with me. <laughs> uh, clearly. Come with me next time. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah, I should come with definitely. You. Because I definitely <laughs> ordered the wrong dish. I got, I, I even asked the, uh, the, the waiter, I, I said, hey, what is the go-to dish here? Right. Like, what do people love? Right. And he said, Hunan beef. Like, without hesitation. Right. Game on. So bring on the Hunan beef. I was really disappointed. It was Honestly, the, the the most redeeming quality about the dish was the spiciness. Mm. But the beef was somewhat imitation-like, and the vegetables included iceberg lettuce. Mm -hmm. And it was a bit slimy, the sauce, and it was just we inconsistent. We should have gone with Emily, because yes. she yes. clearly knew what to order. Exactly. Yeah. You know? It's a great little neighborhood gem, and it's something, um, a spot that we frequent, you know, three to five times a month. Mm. Right. You know, I live in the neighborhood, and so I walk those streets every day, and this right. is our Chinatown spot. I definitely saw that, though. You know, you walk in, you're like, oh, wow, there's some families here, there's some couples here that clearly know the menu. I think I probably could have benefited from a bit of guidance 
students. I think probably my dining experience would have been different, right. you know, had that happened. Did you guys feel like you got value? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't expensive for right. sure. I mean, it was very reasonable, and that that that's what I think that was probably one of for me one of the redeeming qualities yeah. of the restaurant. So value. All right, Emily, this is your spot. Wrap it up. So Hunan Homes is really a Chinatown gem. It's accessible. It's consistent, and most of all, and most importantly, it's delicious. Okay, and LB. I think I think uh, you know my experience was a little different. I was a, a touch disappointed, but I think that if you're a local and you live in the area, it's probably a great spot. Okay, and Scott? Yeah, I would definitely agree, and, and I would say um, if you are perhaps a little under the weather and need some hot and sour soup, <laughs> which is such a great thing, <laughs> I would hands down okay. recommend definitely. Hunan yeah. Homes. If you'd like to try Hunan Homes Restaurant, it's on Jackson at Kearney in San Francisco. The telephone number is 415-982-2844. It's open every day for lunch and dinner. Reservations are accepted, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $20. Another guest from season eight is database developer Mark Baum. He yearns for the complex flavors and homemade Lao and Thai sauces at his spot. This newly refurbished, Diamond in the Rough on International Boulevard in Oakland requires you to ring the bell if it's late. So head over to the little place called Souk Savan. My name is Nai Se Lee. The name of the restaurant is Souk Savan. I was born here and raised in Oakland, but my parents are originally from China and migrated to Laos. The name of the restaurant Souk Savan means paradise in heaven. We have Laos food and Thai food here. The Lao style has a bit more pungent taste to it and the Thai style has a bit more sweeter taste. I started working here two years ago as a waitress, and then I became really close with the owners. They decided to train me to move into the kitchen. My parents taught me how to cook at home, but I didn't learn how to cook the more traditional dishes until I started to work here, and I've been cooking ever since. <laughs> when I took over the restaurant in September, I am here seven days a week from open to close. I have some great help. I have my very good friend, Karen. My mom helps out. My niece and my sister, we make all of our sauces here. This one is a very spicy sauce, which is very popular here, but be careful. <laughs> Everyone seems to love the papaya salad. My favorite thing to cook here is the nam cow. It's served as a lettuce wrap. When I see people enjoying my food, it makes me happy. Okay, Mark, now mm -hmm. tell us all why you have to ring a bell to get in. Well, it's not the best neighborhood. Oh, I thought maybe it was like a speakeasy or something. Mm, uh, yeah, that'd be nice. Um, <laughs> you wanted Thai and the, the flavors of Yeah, one went off to Thailand a few years ago and came back and just had the best food there ever. And he, he's always looking for Thai restaurants to try. Mm -hmm. So this place is both Lao and Thai. Um, we mostly eat off the Thai menu. I find Lao food a little more culturally remote or mm -hmm. palate remote for me. Mm -hmm. um, though some of the dishes we we've, we've really have enjoyed. Mm -hmm. And um, the food there is bold and vibrant. You have to ask them to tone down the chili. I, I strongly recommend that actually. And and I just love the people there. I feel like I feel like they're trying to make a nice place in a rough spot, mm -hmm. and I applaud them for that. So there's one dish which is made with fried rice, or sort of crispy rice, and fermented that sausage. That is smiling, yes. Okay. Yes. Mm. yes, mm. Mm. That's really good. It really was. So fried rice with fermented sausage and mint, the sort of classic ingredients of a South mm -hmm. Asian food, and you, you wrap it all up in a lettuce leaf, and you crumble toasted chilies into it uh, to your liking. I always crumble lots. <laughs> um, that's really my absolute favorite dish. But they have other really good ones. They have a one that's a mixture of seafood with bell peppers and eggplant, which is quite tasty. I mean, some of the classic Thai stuff, like the the coconut soup, the tom tom kha gai, is very good. It's, it's just lovely, perfect balance of ingredients. I've eaten at a lot of Thai places, but it was really the Lao piece that I wanted to mm -hmm. that I wanted to dive into because I didn't have any previous experience with that. And we were the server recommended the nam cow. Which is like which is like that, but with mixed uh, pieces of crispy pork, sort of like Lao chicharrones, <laughs> like the crispy pork skin. And then the first one I had, let's see, it was the papaya salad. And she said, "Do you want it Lao or Thai?" And I said, "Well, I don't, I don't know. What would the difference be?" And she said, "Well, Lao is for the more adventurous." And I said, <laughs> "Bring it on!" And it was it was spicy, and it it came out a little bit of a gray color, but you took a bite and you were like, "Oh, this is why we're here." It was. It was very, very good, but the seafood one that you mentioned, 
Um, it's a shame because that was possibly our only weaker dish of the mm -hmm. evening. We found that the eggplant to bell pepper ratio, that there was far more bell peppers sort of than anything else. We also opted for the Lao options because I love Thai food, but I wanted to try something new. And we had the Pod Ki Mao, which are the widest noodles I've ever seen. Very delicious with delicious lemongrass and cilantro flavors. Uh, we also tried two of the curries, which were somewhat different from Thai curry in that they're a little bit lighter mm -hmm. and can be quite spicy. We asked for one spicy and one medium spicy. Was there I a market difference in the medium spicy to the spicy? Um, the spicy was believably spicy. I'm Korean okay. and I don't think anything's actually all that spicy on that as but this was as advertised. It actually was So people should know it actually it was, was spicy. No, 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 no. spicy. Yes. I, I yes. believed okay. them after <laughs> after right. it came. Right. Um, but they were both delicious. The ingredients are extremely fresh. I thought the vegetables were very crisp and delicious. Mm -hmm. One of the other things that we loved, uh, my husband and his parents and our friends, we all loved universally was this banana leaf wrapped mock pa, oh, the fish, which is, we, we were sorry that the banana leaf was so small. We wanted a much larger banana leaf wrapping the <laughs> piece of fish that was inside because everybody universally enjoyed that. I was really surprised by how good the fried banana with the ice cream oh, yes. was. And you know, it just says with ice cream, so I guess I just, I just hadn't really thought it through. It was this coconut ice cream. Mitchell's. It was so, right, it was the Mitchell's, co it was the Mitchell's ice cream, but then they drizzled the honey on it. And I mm -hmm. hadn't counted on how the honey would crystallize in the ice cream on that. The coating on the banana was so crispy. And the hot banana with the cold ice cream. And it, it goes great with Riesling, by the way. So good. <laughs> <laughs> great with so Riesling. Good. And do you feel like this is a value spot? Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Especially by comparison with some of the other Thai restaurants in the city. It's, it's very affordable. We had a huge amount of food for the six of us. And I thought it was, it was worth the toll to cross the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> to get it. All right, Mark, this is your mm -hmm. spot. Give us a quick wrap up. It's a value proposition with bright, bold flavors. And if you're willing to brave East Oakland, it's a, <laughs> just a delightful, delightful place. All right, Mian. It's an opportunity for a new adventure with plenty of fresh ingredients and charming servers. Okay, and Beth. And we found our new place when we're heading home from the Oakland airport. Uh, a great stop, I'd do takeout rather than eat there, um, but we'll be back. If you would like to visit Souk Savan, it's on International between 19th and 20th in Oakland. The telephone number is 510-533-6021. It's open Tuesday through Sunday for lunch and dinner. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $15. If you missed these places the first time around, we hope you've enjoyed a look back at three great spots. Thanks to Becky Hirschfeld and her shared family memories of flavorful meals at Phnom Penh House in Oakland. Emily Butler's favorite family-run eatery serving up traditional Chinese food at Hunan Homes Restaurant in San Francisco. And Mark Baum, who took us on an appetizing tour of Laos and Thailand at Souk Savan in Oakland. We really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So keep in touch with us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And don't forget that you can watch any of our shows on the website at kqed.org slash check, please. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and where you'll find my notes and recommendations on all of the wines through the seasons. So join us next time when three new guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sabraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by IRG has over 250 natural stone choices and over 10,000 stone slabs in stock today. IRG in Brisbane and Dublin or at marblecompany.com. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Natural mattress systems from European Sleepworks, working to improve comfort and wellness for over 40 years. European Sleepworks in Berkeley, online at sleepworks.com. Sutter Health CPMC, 7,000 employees, nurses, and physicians caring for their communities every day. Your city, your hospital. CPMC2020.org. 
Walmart Global E-Commerce, with small, agile work teams, is focused on big data, open source engineering, and e-commerce innovations. Careers at walmartlabs.com. SafeCatch Elite Wild Tuna, great for athletes, kids, and pregnancy. SafeCatch tests each and every fish for mercury. Online at safecatch.com.